greeting to everyone from Salamanca. I'm going to make communication software alternatives to design learning activities for Lean Six Sigma in e-learning. Lean Six Sigma is a quality methodology whose objective is to improve processes in order to increase their profitability and productivity. It is a combination of statistical tools, Lean and Six Sigma philosophy that is always oriented to continuous improvement. The need to apply the Six Sigma methodology in production processes is motivated by the following reason. All processes show variability. Processes are not perfect, they have a limited capability. It's necessary to apply statistical thinking and things in this way in terms of probability. And new tools, new ET tools and technologies can always be applied in Six Sigma context. Engineers of the industrial brands like mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, electronic and automation engineers should be familiar with the Six Sigma tools because these are very necessary in the industrial context. For these reasons, the competence established for these studies are indicated in the normative and they are this basic knowledge of production and manufacturing system and applied knowledge of the business organization and applied knowledge of manufacturing systems and processes, technology and quality control. So it's necessary to design a workflow that allows the students to apply its fundamental Six Sigma control chart for statistical control and capability study. For this purpose, a workflow has been designed in which students must work on data analyzed from this data in the first time, the stability of the process, and then the capability. Based on this study, they will have to make the appropriate decision enhancing in this way the critical thinking. All this will be done in the context of e learning with tutoring through virtual conference tools and with the possibility of including all material such as data statements, learning resource, and others within the Moodle platform. To perform these tasks and taking into account that uh, students will work with uh, layer data sets, the use of software is essential. For this purpose, the authors used the literature and the own experience to find the most appropriate software for the training object and the following criteria were evaluated. Usability, power, scalability, learning, access and resources. Within each criterion, these requirements were individually analyzed. Considering these criteria, five different solutions were analyzed. On the one hand, statistical packages like Minitab or SPSS and on the other hand, based on code solution like R or Python, they are really programming language. And finally, a scientific suite like MATLAB. Based on bibliometric analysis, MATLAB was the most widely used software in engineering research. MATLAB allows programming tools and has specific quality control functions like control charts, capability index. Uh, also, based on bibliometric analysis, SPSS was the most widely used software in, but in this case, in the fields of social science and medicine, allowing the use of some quality tool tools, uh, such as control chart of variables. Uh, MindTab uh, is a specific software, it's a software specialized in industrial statistics, uh, it uh, has a uh, lot of application at industrial level and it has advanced tools in quality control, control chart of different types, capability study and other methods. Uh, and finally, the air development and the Python uh, development language has many possibilities and libraries and these can be applied to quality control, but 
it implies advanced development skills and it's uh, it's necessary a uh, long learning curve. Finally, the following table was made to illustrate the conclusion state in the conference paper. As can be seen, there is no perfect solution, but each of them has potentialities and weaknesses. In the case of R and Python, the main advantage is that they are free resources, and the main problem is the difficulty of handling them for those students who do not know how to program. The other commercial application, MATLAB, ISP, is, is and MindTab, have an important training potential, and specifically MATLAB are scalable to many other subjects, but on the other hand, this application require licenses and are not freely accessible. Thank you very much.